Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's table talk is going to be probably a little bit of a conversation and a little bit of uh, inspirational kind of speaking. I wanted to uh, uh, reiterate some, some things that I said before in a previous video. I am a, um, as you know, I probably said it before, I am a suicide survivor and I try to destroy myself on more than one occasion. But I want, I had wrote some stuff down today and I really wanted to talk about it because this is for suicide survivors, this is for people who have that pain that's so bad that they want to destroy their lives. This is for people who just don't feel loved and accepted. This is for everybody and anybody who wants to destroy themselves and don't see a way out. I am a suicide survivor. I took that journey. It's a dark journey. It's a painful journey. It's a hurtful journey. You feel alone and depression. It's the darkest place you ever, I, I call it the threshold of hell. You're right there at the doorbell of hell, in my opinion. So I, had, I was thinking about it today when I was doing my self-assessment and I was doing my meditative days. And I decided to sit, write down a couple of things that, number one, you are so loved, you are so accepted, you are in a community of open door. You know, not just, not just the tabletop community, but every community, open door. You come as you are, you are accepted as you are, you are beautiful as you are, Diversity is beautiful. Diversity is power. And I'm going to speak to that too, how diversity is power. Because connecting in a diverse way, we are so strong. We can conquer the divide. We can turn things around. And I don't mean just on a simple level. I mean on a mental illness level. We can show society that thriving with mental illness, this is how it looks. It looks like unity. This is how it looks. It looks like togetherness. This is how it looks. It looks like holding hands with someone you never thought you'll hold hands with. Surprise them by doing the opposite. Like me, I do not look like a typical female. I have a mohawk. I have a pierced nose ring. I have a tattoo on my wrist. I have a tattoo on my neck and I have future endeavors to get more tattoos because I'm thrilled by it. There's nothing wrong with being you. Just because someone doesn't accept you, don't let them decide how your life should be. And that's one of the pains. I, I, uh, I want to speak to some of the pain that you have, which uh, uh, kind of ushers you one of the ways that you want to harm yourself is because I want to get rid of the pain. The pain is so bad because I'm not accepted. The pain is so bad is because I'm not loved or the pain is so bad is because uh, I'm looking at this, this magazine and this particular look is not you know, this look right here says everyone should look that way. No, everyone shouldn't look that way. You look yourself in the mirror and you say, that's the genuine me and I look good. That's how I wake up every morning. I look myself in the mirror and say, hey, that's the genuine me.
and I look good. One of the things that we do as community is we stick together and we lift each other up and we are listeners. Do not let the pain overpower your view of future. Your view of future looks like what? Whatever that is, college, marriage, family. You can find a relationship, that's not true. Your mind will tell you, oh, you can't find a relationship. Uh, You're a little bit uh, heavier than the normal. So what? My man is looking at my characteristics and my attributes. He's not looking at my weight. I can walk this off. That's what I used to say. I was like, hey, I can walk this off. My man loves my heart. He doesn't love, he's not thinking about me on the outside, he's looking at the inside. And see, that with all that, all that negative uh, 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 facade, all that, that brings pain because you say, oh my God, I, I can't find or no one will never look at me as being that particular person. That's so not true. So that's what you, you're beautiful, you're accepted, you're loved, you're in a community of beautiful, accepted, and loved. You're in a community of motivators. We want you to go to that next level. We want to see you progress. We want to see you. I'm looking for governors. I'm looking for senators. I'm looking for presidents. I'm looking for world leaders. And guess what? You got mental illness. You can conquer. You can take over the world. And you are not limited by a mental illness. That's nothing. You got your mental illness at a balance. You're you you're rocking it. And the difference of being a listener, you always have listeners because you have supporters. Once you build your community, whatever that community is in your neighborhood, is it a YouTube channel that you tap into? You build a community that is listening to how you feel. Then you can have that circle of builders, that circle of gratifiers, that circle of people that are saying, hey, take the baton and run away with it. You can do it. When I first, I I speak about the first time that I tried to destroy myself. And um, I tell you about the pain and the depression, how it had me so low and how it had me at the, the threshold of, I call it hell, at the threshold of hell because I really, really wanted to not feel that level of pain ever again because it was that bad. But what I didn't address is, the I call it the fine print. Mental illness will never let you read the fine print. You know what the fine print is? It's that consequence at the bottom to say, hey, you're going to take your life and destroy yourself. So, I'm not going to tell you that you're kind of not going to see your future either. Your future is beautiful, but I'm not going to tell you that. That's in the fine print. I'm not going to tell you that you get a relationship out the deal because that's in the fine print. I'm not going to tell you that one day you're going to have a small business and it's going to be booming because that's in the fine print. Because if I show you that, You'll get motivated, and then you, you're going to not want to destroy yourself and or others. So I don't think I should be able to illuminate that. But that's what I'm trying to get over now. Before we get to that, that suicide threshold, before we allow pain to push us right to that edge where we let bullying take us over there, where we let... Uh, isolation take us over there 
where we let bad traumas and tragedies take us over there, where we let looking for love in all the wrong places take us over there. If we start to let, you know, bad situations just bring us to the threshold of hell, what mental illness is not doing is letting us read that fine print. And that fine print is saying, hey, in five years, do you realize you can be an artist? You can be whatever you dream of. You can do these beautiful things if you just hold on and stick it out and find a community of uh, acceptors and a community of lovers and a community of diverse uh, individuals or either create you a, a surroundings that can give you what you need and keep in mind I do not dismiss clinicians they are absolutely awesome partners but then sometimes it's uh, I run into self-assessments and some my self my self-assessments give me what I need for the day because I self-talk. I self-talk my way right back out of the hole. I get myself right out of that suicide hole and I say, hey, I just remembered. I didn't read the fine print. The fine print says I'm going to open up a business one day. The fine print says I'm going to read, I'm going to be a best-selling author one day. The fine print says I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be a musician one day. So I have to hold on and I have to stick this out because I really want to see that come to fruition. You know why? Because I get the chance to benefit someone else. I get to turn around and tell someone else, don't jump. Don't hurt yourself. Don't take those pills. Don't use that gun because the fine print, read it, read the fine print. You are beautiful and you can make it. That pain is temporary. It doesn't last long. Once you get past that pain, the sky is the limit. So definitely shoot me back an email, um, shoot me back a, uh, a text or email on how you feel about this information because we definitely want, again, we want to build the community with information on how we survive. This is a good community. When I talk about uh, my personal uh, life, I want you to know that I'm coming from a patient's point of view. And my patient's point of view is I walk the journey. I know what pain feels like. It's not nice. But at the same time, I also walk the journey on the good side. And I know what it feels like to triumph and to make it on the other side to the finish line. And it is amazing. I wrote the book, Guess What's in My Purse? Uh, Thriving with Mental Illness. It's in printing now. It should be out at the end of December. I'll let you guys know when it comes out at the end of December. But this is my dream. That's why I'm glad I didn't destroy myself. Because now I can see my dream come to fruition. And I can reach out to whoever in the community and help them live their dream. And let them know that, hey, I'm glad I took the time to read the fine print because if I didn't take the time to read the fine print, I would have been a lost cause. Because most of us, most of us think the pain is always gonna be sticking around, it's always gonna be forever. And I changed my environment, I changed my surroundings. Everybody who's not going in the direction that I'm going in, I had to say goodbye to them. You know, I know it's a hard sell, but it's like, hey, you know, if you're not for me, then you're against me then I'm gonna have to lose your number. And I'm gonna have to start all over and build me a new community. So definitely, let's do our homework and let's make ourselves happy and let's safe, let's do diversity, let's keep our community, let's be good listeners. And at the same time, let's live our life to the fullest. 
Let's live our life to the best. You're welcomed, you're loved, you're accepted, and your diversity is beautiful. You're beautiful, guys. Until next time, stay healthy.